Hello people, this is Teacher Calvin and welcome to another episode of Science I Can Do and with our great tips, I'm sure Science You Can Do Too. Today, you're going to be watching a video conferencing lesson on the topic of a series of questions found in booklet A set by a renowned school. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the lesson. All right, here we go. We are doing the CA1 yeah, from River Valley. Okay, again, the chart below shows process of fertilization when A, from part X, fuses with B, all right, human, human, we need the sperm and the egg, right? Yes. So, uh, well, what produce sperm? Testes. Okay, testes. Okay, can the female, I'm looking for the ovary, okay? Okay, where's the answer? According to Sandrine, she three, says three, it's three, one. No, 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 one. Now change answer already. Three, three, three. All right, let's see whether she's correct. So, Ovary is part X, she says. Okay. Ovary is part X. Huh? So let's see. I'm going to put ovary here. Also, ovary produce what? A. Ovary produce A, right? Which is the egg, right? From part three. Can you see now? So let me see. Ovary produce the egg. Is it true? Ovary produce the egg. Eh? I'm looking at part three without looking at many other because um, mm -hmm. since Andrew given me the answer, I don't want to go evaluate other things, waste my time. Can you see now, guys and girls? But okay. some teacher like to do other questions, other answers, it's so annoying. Yes, but one, two, three, four, but since she identified, I don't want to go to do one, two, and then waste my time, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Uh, I'm not sure she's correct as well. I'm just... Going through her answer, if the answer is correct, then well, no, wonderful. Uh. But why is the testes? Okay, according to this guy, yes, part why is the testes? According to answer for number three, girls and boys, testes, part why number three is testes. So I put testes here. A testes produces B here. Look at this. This one, ding, 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 ding. B is according to number three, is the sperm. Okay. All right, so do we agree, everyone? So the answer is number three. Agree or not? I agree. All right, female has ovary. Rex, write it down. Female has ovary and the male has testes. And testes Hello. produce sperm. Agree or not? Then the sperm and the egg fuse together to form a fertilized egg called zygote. G-O-T-E. Do you understand or not, Rex? So is this true? Yeah? Yes, not right. Yes, okay? Yeah. All right. The diagram shows the fruit S and cut slices of fruit S. Hey, this looks like a, what do you call it? Star fruit, right? Eh? Hello? Have you seen the star fruit before? No? Oh, my. My uh, grandpa. How about uh, star fruit? Have you uh, seen one before? My grandpa planted. Oh, planted. Sophia said. This fruit, no need to buy. In my backyard, got already. Okay, <laughs> Sophia is very rich. She lives in bungalow. She 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 plant all sorts of fruits in her house. Okay, yeah. So you all want to eat fruits? No need to buy. Her, behind her house got rambutan tree, got star fruit tree. Oh, you got durian tree, no? I make sure you don't drop on the head, no. Then you walk around like a durian. <laughs> okay, don't act, act so rich. Okay, grow durian. <laughs> All right, yes, all right, start with, Okay, so, which part of the flower do X and Y develop from? What are they pointing? One is pointing at the fruit, right? The other, you can see what she's yeah, pointing, pointing at. at the seed. Yeah, pointing at the seed, you know, girls. Um, here. See, this is the seed. Can you see the brown color one? What they are trying to draw is this guy here. Okay, the brown color seed. Can you see how? Okay, they have seeds here, huh? Yeah, okay, so so the seeds come from where? The fruits come from where? Come on. After fertilization, what becomes the fruit? Come on. The ovary. 
Okay, can you write it down? After fertilization, the ovary become the fruit. Okay, the fruit came from the ovary. What came from the seed? Okay, the seed come from ovule. Okay, the seed come from O-V-E-L-U-E-S. Okay, all right. So what's the answer? Ah, uh, Yanting, don't smile, smile, smile. Huh? Three. Ah, uh, is was that what Sandrine said? X is the ovary and Y is the ovule. Correct. All right. The table below shows the characteristics of two plants, A and B. Okay. Plant A is, you can see, what, what does plant A do? Plant A is, let's see, let's see. Do you know how to read? Yeah. A is dispersed by wind. And reproduced by seed. Reproduced by seed means it's a flowering plant. Only flowering plants have seeds. Do you hear what I say, Carissa? All right. And disposed by wind. That means have wing-like structure, isn't it? Okay. A bee is disposed by wind. Wait up. But then here, here, B. Just in case for those who don't know how to read this. No? A bee is here. B is disposed by wind. That's all. You know not reproduced by seed. That means, what do you think it is? It could be like spores, right? Disposed by wind and their spores, they don't reproduce by seed. That means they're not flowering plants. Get it or not? It could be a bird nest fern. Understand what I'm saying now first. I'm asking Yan Ting, you wait. From the information given below, identify the groups of that plant A and plant B belong to. What did I say, Yan Ting? I mean, uh, yeah? Or oh, Carissa, what did I say? A must be from what? From flowering plants, right? Hello? Flowering plants. Yes or no? B cannot be flowering plants. Can you see or not? Get it? Cannot be flowering plants because flowering plants reproduce by seed. So B could be like bird nest fern. So where is the answer? Yang Ting? One. Uh, number one. Do you agree? Let me see. So According to her, A must be classified. If you choose one, this is the answer, huh? Here. I don't think it's one. I don't think it's one. You don't think it's one, then what is your answer? I, I, I really don't know. You don't know, yet, but you don't think it's one. Very good. Never mind. I don't think it's one. I think In that case, I just go for number one. Okay, plant A is W. W. Plant A is W. That means uh, uh, Carissa is claiming that A is here. Let's see. Let's try. Plant A is a flowering plant. Right? For, for A to be here, it must be a flowering plant. Did this uh, confirm there's a flowering plant? Yes, because it reproduced by seeds. Yes or not? So confirm this track is good for A. Yes? Right? By going or to the flowering side, A belongs there because they reproduce by seed. Only you have uh, when you have flowers, then you have seeds. Get it now? For A, uh, to be W, you see, um, yeah, A is W, it says, A is W, let's see, it must satisfy this part, this part, you say, A is a flowering plant, e? it is, it is, because it reproduced by seeds here, get it, hello, only flowering plants have seeds, okay, huh? can I, huh? okay, look good, looks good so far, and then the fruits, okay, after that, you still need a double confirmation, you know, double confirm. Why? Because A is dispersed by wind, right? A is dispersed by wind. That's why A has a wing-like structure, right? Ooh, double confirm. You know, double confirm? When people say confirm, double confirm. They double confirm. It is reproduced by flowers and have wing-like structure. Confirm A is W, okay? Or W is A. Yeah, okay? So any other thing, like Sandrine say, could be number three. All these are nonsense. I don't want even to go and waste my time there. So I just confirm the plan B. Now, plan B, look at where I should do. Plan B is dispersed by wind. Okay, then it is a non flowering plant, right? Oh, in this case, if it's a non flowering plant, it must be a fern. It cannot be fungi because fungi are not plants. Yes? Has spores. Yeah? Has spores. Oh? That's why it is a, like a confirm. Huh? B is here. I mean, uh, B must be Y. And see how B is Y, yes, right? It's, this is a bird nest fern, for example. 
cannot be uh, 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 fungi. Can I say, huh? Burger fungi are not flying fly. So, number one is um, correct. Compo Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, do give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And for more great tips like this, be sure to watch Science I Can Do.